So hi everyone, it's Jurassic Gear from the Achievement Squad, coming at you with a Chapter 1 collectible guide for Tell Me Why. As a heads up from this point onwards, there's a minor spoiler warning in effect, but we're going to show you all of the collectible locations for Chapter 1. So we start off with Alison in her bedroom, we want to make our way over to the bed, and you want to press A on the bed and there's going to be a box underneath it. So we'll take the box out and automatically pick up the first parts of collectible number one, uh, which is one of the goblin statues. So we'll do this automatically as part of the story. <laughs> so that's where you've been hiding. Now once you've progressed a little bit further forward, you'll be playing as Tyler, and you want to look to your left and you're going to see a very similar looking box. On top of that box, you're going to find Goblin number two, Could which is the second know? part to the first collectible. You want to pick that one up and you want to put it into your pocket. Okay, now you've progressed significantly forward in the game and you'll be underneath a house and you'd have just hit your head on the beam that is just in front of me. You want to continue forward down the main pathway in this um, foundation of the building and you make your way all the way to the end. Now, take a left once you reach the end, but instead of following the main path at the picture here, you want to take a right and go between the two wooden pillars. Keep following it around, and on the floor you're going to find collectible number two. Picking this one up will also bag you a, an achievement. Okay, and so once you have access to that room, we're going to grab collectible number three. So I'm outside, and this play for actually kick the door down as opposed to actually solving the puzzle. Um, but the collectible number three is directly in this room, so you want to head on in. And as you get into the room, right to the, hand, uh, the right hand side of the bed, you're going to find on the floor the third collectible of the game. So bend down and pick that one up, put your face in the drawer at the same time in the process. And then we're going to go for collectible number four. So this has got some significant game progression uh, and the door at the back of the shop is going to be open. You want to make your way into the office at the back and you'll go over to the cupboard in the corner just here. Can I help you want to you open that one person? up oh, and then no, on the no, inside no, you'll see the I'm pelican good. collectible on the right hand side. You want to pick this one up for collectible number four. What's this doing here? And for the last collectible of this chapter, you'll be in the police station and you'll just pick yourself up a coffee. Um, from here, you want to turn around from the coffee machine and you want to follow it around. This is just after watching some memories. You'll be in an office, which looks like a, a bit of an interview room. Make your way to the far back right hand corner and right down in the dark, you'll find the collectible on the floor. This is collectible number five. I've been Jessica from the Achievement Squad. If you find this guide useful, drop us a like, comment and subscribe and happy hunting. Okay, so we are now in chapter number two, and we're going to go after collectible number one for this chapter. Uh, straight away, you're going to be in your house uh, as you spawn in, and the first collectible is pretty much straightforward from the location that you are, and to the left and underneath a dining table. So walk into the main room, take a left, and you want to head it around to the corner, and you want to press A on it, and this will allow you to inspect the table, and underneath you're going to find collectible number one of this chapter. Okay, so we are now in the police station. Uh, we're still in chapter two, and this is collectible number two of this chapter, or number seven out of 13. You wanna make your way into Eddie's office, and you wanna make your way around to his desk, and you wanna open up the jaw, and inside you're gonna find the salt warp moose. Huh. Hey, you. Okay, we are now back in the store and we're going to go after the next collectible for this chapter. It's collectible number three uh, or number eight out of 13. So make your way back into the storeroom. You'll be meant to be helping Michael out at this point, but just ignore him for the time being. And just to the left of the fridge, you are going to find the muskrat. Is that the 
means you muskrat. And now for the fourth collectible in this chapter, you'll be in the graveyard uh, and you'll have been and expected this grave with the blue vase next to it. Once you've had that discussion with your sister or that looking around, turn around and make your way across to this gate here. It will be closed in your game. I opened it earlier up by accident, um, but you want to walk on through and as you're going to come up this path, you're going to want to take a left and to your left, there's going to be a totem. And once you reach that totem, you want to take a right and you want to continue up the hill. And as you come up this hill, you want to make your way over to the grave that is directly in front of you. Behind here, you're going to find a locked box. And inside that locked box, you are going to find this next collectible. This is collectible number four of this chapter. And it's nine out of 13 in total for the game. Okay, and for the last collectible of chapter number two, this is 10 out of 13 or number five in chapter two, you'll be inside the barn and you wanna make your way around to the covered up car and through the door. Take a left and look underneath the drawer just down here and you are gonna find the last collectible of this chapter. At least you were spared. Hey, come take a look at this. Okay, so we are now in chapter three and there are only three collectibles in total in this chapter. Start off by heading downstairs whilst you're in Eddie's house as Alison. At the bottom of the stairs, you wanna take a left and you wanna go around into Eddie's room. I've already opened the door because there was some cutscenes here and I cut them out and I didn't want you to see them. Head into the back of the room and then you're gonna find a puzzle box on top of a bookshelf. Now, you're gonna to need to get yourself a coin to open up this box. Um, this is actually probably the hardest collectible to find in the game, uh, but it refers to the secret keeper and the story of, requ uh, of requesting coins for having that knowledge. So open up your book of goblins and I'll actually explain that to you. So once you've done that, you want to make your way back into the front room. Looks like this is coin operated. And to get into Eddie's room, you pretty much just need to turn around, uh, sorry, the front room, exit out of Eddie's room through the door you came in, and you want to take a right, go past the stairs, and you want to continue forward through the blue door, and then you make your way across his living room over to the uh, cabinet over on the side next to the fireplace. You want to examine here, and you're going to find some coins on the table. You want to grab one of these coins and then make your way back to Eddie's room. So to get back to Eddie's room, turn around, you want to exit out through the door that you came in, go past the stairs and take a left, and then head back to the box which is in the far left hand corner of the room. Once you're back in the room, you want to pick up the box off of the shelf and you want to insert the coin into the coin slot on the side. Uh, and this is going to open up the box and it is going to give you the Secret Keepers collectible. No way. It worked. I wonder why it needed a coin. Okay, so we are now at Sam's workshop and we've just helped him out downstairs with fixing some things. Once you're in this area you want to make your way across to the computer uh, and on the computer you want to examine the desk and then you want to look to the drawer on the bottom right and you want to open that one up and inside you are going to find the bear collectible.
Hey. Okay, and so for the final collectible of the game, this is virtually unmissable. You'll be solving this puzzle, so the first thing you'll need to do is push the hand of the hunter in, the tree on the edge of the lake, the princess behind the tree, and then the castle behind the hunter, and then the title of the story at the top of the picture. You'll come here as part of the main story, you can't really miss this collectible. Once that's done, it's going to open a doorway What's in there? on the picture. Puzzle, you're going to Pictures, find the next collectible on the right hand side. So it's the lady, the golden lady statue these? just on the right here. You want to pick this one up. The ones hanging on the walls. The gold lady. That was definitely her mom. So did Marianne grow up kind of rich? Okay, and once you have that, you want to then turn around from that painting. And you're going to make your way over to the box in the corner. Now, beside the box, you're going to find these little plinths, and you want to drop down all of your collectibles onto these little stands. There's one either side of the box. Just place down each collectible, and this should bag you the last achievement for placing all 13 collectibles on the stalls in the game. I've been Jastica from the Achievement Squad. If you find this guide useful, drop us a like, comment, and subscribe, and happy hunting. We'll let the mangy muskrat have his rock back. The Ice King goes in the forest, obviously. There you go, stalwart moose. That's the pious pelican spot. Crafty goblins go here. The wise princess goes in the big wooden house, of course. The moon hag's gotta be imprisoned in her lake. The very old beaver definitely goes in her den. The mad hunter, always on the princess's trail. I don't get this one. What's the deal with the tiara?